The drug was frustrating me, taking all my mind because I was so I was so addicted into drugs. The gang that I started outside, which was a gang that I built it on myself. When I'm high smoking, so I would be like to the guys, they are which they are which they are used to bring witchcraft stuff to my house. So they don't know about a God that who, who is so bigger than all these things that he can choose his people inside the gang and take them out because he is God. Gangsterism, there is no way out. But for me, I find a way out. Jesus broke all the chains that were holding me. Since I came out of prison, then I started joining the Message Trust. Then I went for the training of the barista. Then I came back, started working at the Message, the Mess Cafe. Because of my background, since people know me, I was once in drugs, in crime, in gangsterism. So when people saw me, they didn't believe that I was still alive. But once I got there, and then I've known that it is a platform for me actually to start sharing my story. We got that platform of seeing them asking us, how did you guys survive in prison? So they challenged us, asking us those questions. So it's so easy for us to start sharing of what happened, how God changed our lives, and what, what are the next plans we have, and how blessed are we to be at the message, because the worry that most of us did have when we were in prison of being in a criminal, having a criminal record, worrying of not finding employed. My way out was more about turning, getting to hear the voice of God and getting closer to Him. So we no longer live in the past of gang. Now our future, which is stars. I used to save time, but now I'm saving coffee.